question 15 of leak code three sum given an integer array nums return all the triplets nums i nums j nums k such that i does not equal j i does not equal k and j does not equal k and nums i plus nums j plus nums k is equal to zero notice that the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets so here we have a nums array of random numbers and our output is an array of arrays containing three values or three integers that add up to zero and they do not include duplicate triplets so we need to find all the different combinations of triplets within this nums array that equal zero that aren't duplicates so when thinking about this a brute force approach would be to loop through this array three times then compare the values and if they equal zero push it into the array and then remove the duplicates um, but the time complexity on that would be quite heavy it would be n to the power of three so an optimized approach would be to have say a for loop and a two pointer technique however the first stage would be in that case to sort this nums array and the reason we need to sort it is because the two pointer technique relies on sorting so that we can determine which integer to go to next based on whether it's below zero or above zero we need to sort this array so let's just sort it so we have minus four minus one minus one zero one and two and we can do this in place so it won't take up any extra space so the two loops will have the for loop which starts at this position starts at i and we'll have j and k that are acting as our two pointer technique so j and k will move across depending on whether the total summation of the current numbers in here add up to less than zero or add up to greater than zero so let's walk through this process so we've got minus four minus one and two as our first example that is less than zero so we can increment j minus four minus one two is less than zero so we can increment j minus four zero and two is less than zero so we increment j and that is also less than zero so at this stage we increment i so i goes there j is i plus one and then we repeat the process so we have minus one minus one and two at this point this is equal to zero which is what we want so we can push this value into res now at this point we need to check for duplicates so we can say while well, nums at j is equal to nums at j plus one continue so increment j so if this value here is equal to this value then we continue if it isn't we just increment j so j will go here so at this point we have minus one zero and two that's going to equal one which is greater than zero so at this point we need to decrement k so k comes this way we can remove that now we have minus one zero and one which gives us zero again so we can add that into our res array at this point j and k can't go any further so i moves forward but at this point we need to check we need to check whether i is equal to i minus one because if those are the same we're going to get a duplicate triplet so we need to check this value and if that is true then we need to increment again so we need to continue so i goes along again then we have j and k zero one and two that is greater than zero and j and k have nowhere else to go so we just return res so the hardest part of this question is definitely in removing the duplications but we'll go through that in writing out the solution but for now let's discuss the time and space complexity so the time complexity of this we have the sorting which is going to be o n log n we have a two pointer which is o n and that is looped through n number of times so it becomes o n squared so time complexity is o log n times n squared which simplifies to o n squared and space is O1 because we aren't allocating any extra space for the sorted array. We're just updating nums. So let's sort this out. So firstly, we can look at the constraint. Nums.length can be greater than or equal to zero. So let's cover that edge case. So if num.length is equal to zero, just return an empty array because that's what it's asking for. Now we need to sort nums. So nums equals nums.sort AB a minus b this is javascript syntax in order to sort the array let res equal an empty array so now we can start the loop so we loop from i is equal to zero i is less than nums dot length minus two because remember there are going to be two values at the end j and k which are the two pointers and at this point we need to write something to stop duplicates from occurring 
So if i is greater than zero, and remember we said if nums are i is equal to nums are i minus one, then continue. Remember i was at this point, we moved over to this point, they were the exact same, so we compare i with i minus one, if they're the same, so we move along and we avoid duplicates. Let j equals i plus one, let k equal nums dot length minus one. So the two pointer technique, j is always initialized as i plus one, and k is always the last value. So let's start the loop with the two pointers. So while j is less than k, so we'll add those values up. Nums at i plus nums at j plus nums at k. If sum is equal to zero, so if we have found a potential solution, we can push into res the results and we need to make sure that it's an array. Now we need to again stop duplicates with j and k. So while nums at j equals nums at j plus one, we increment j. And while nums at k is equal to nums at k plus one, we decrement k because k is the endpoint. If they aren't equal, we still need to increment j and decrement k. Else, if sum is less than zero, so in the case where summation of all the triplets is less than zero, we need to increment j to move j pointer right. If it's greater than zero, then we need to decrement k. Finally, we need to return results, and then we can check see if this has worked. Let's submit it. And there you have it.